Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you one of my most favorite Indian dishes, tikka masala in the Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com and if you didn't know, every Monday I'm sharing with you a new Instant Pot recipe. So make sure you subscribe and push the little bell so you can get the notifications every time I make a new recipe for you. So today I'm doing a collaboration with Jen from A Little Bit of Calm and Crazy and Cassandra from 30 Something Beauty. So the first person is Jen from A Little Bit of Calm and Crazy. Jen is known for her amazing crafts, her Dollar Tree finds, and then of course she can turn Dollar Tree items into amazing crafts. Then we have Cassandra from 30 Something Beauty. I met her when I spoke at Bid Summit in October and we became really good friends. Now, I am on the camera a lot and I am horrible at doing my makeup and she has taught me a lot of good things for people like me that are over 30 and need a little more help in the makeup department. So this collaboration is a little more centered around Valentine's so I'm gonna be making the perfect stay at home dinner idea while well, Jen is gonna be sharing with you 15 date ideas, and then Cassandra will be sharing with you some easy ways to do your makeup for your fun night out. So I'll put their links in the description. Make sure to stop by their channels and tell them that Kristen sent you. So with my part of the collaboration, I'm making tiki masala. Now I love Valentine's Day. I just don't love going out on Valentine's Day. It's crowded, you have to wait forever to get your food. And so we usually make something fun at home and then go out another night. All right, you guys, let's head on over to my Instant Pot and let's go make this delicious tikka masala in the Instant Pot. So here are the things you need. Some garam masala, ground ginger, Greek yogurt, plain flavored, pepper, and lemon. Now this is for your marinade. So when I marinate things, I like to put them in a freezer bag. So I'm adding one cup of plain Greek yogurt right into my freezer bag. Next, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of garam masala you can find these on almost any grocery store aisle. I actually got mine from Amazon because I was too lazy to go hunting on my grocery store aisle. So about one tablespoon of this. Next you have about one tablespoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of ground pepper, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger. Next I'm cutting up two chicken breasts into bite-sized pieces and then I'll just throw them into my freezer bag. Now if you notice my freezer bag is being held open by a water pitcher, that is my special secret. Alright, so I'm going to zip it up and then mix the marinade all around and throw it in the refrigerator. Now if you're using chicken breast, I suggest doing it for more than an hour um, just to let the flavor soak in a little bit. Now when you're ready to go, I'm going to push the saute button, wait till it gets hot, and then I'm going to add my marinade with the chicken. You want to put in as much of the yogurt sauce as possible. Now you want to mix it around a little bit so all the chicken can touch the bottom of your Instant Pot. Now we're not cooking the chicken all the way through, we're just browning it a little on each side. So once you cook it a few minutes on each side, we're ready to add our tomato sauce. So we're gonna add a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Then add one half teaspoon of turmeric. Then you're gonna add a half a teaspoon of paprika and a half teaspoon of salt. On top of that, you're gonna add four teaspoons of the garam masala. Garam masala, garam masala. I've heard it pronounced a few different ways. I'm gonna stick with garam masala. And on top of that, add a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And last but not least, I added one clove of garlic. You can add more if you like more garlic, but we're gonna go a little lower on the garlic here. So you're gonna mix this up pretty well, and then once it's all combined, you're gonna push the cancel button to get rid of your saute. Then you're gonna push your pressure cook button or your manual button, that's where it will be. And we're gonna go up to nine minutes. Now when it's done, you're gonna do a quick release, so get rid of that pressure. And when you can take the lid off, go ahead and take the lid right off. And the very last thing you're gonna add is one cup of whipping cream. Now your chicken is gonna be really hot, so you're gonna have no problem with the whipping cream heating up quickly. 
Now if you want a thicker sauce, you could push the saute button and thicken up your sauce, or if you don't really care, I like mine a little bit more on the runny side, so I can have half of it on one side and my rice on the other side. And I, you can garnish it with basil, with cilantro, whatever floats your boat. Now that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to go stop by Jen's channel and Cassandra's channel and tell them that Kristen sent you over there. And I will see you next Monday for a new Instant Pot recipe. Alright guys, see you later. Bye!